All right, guys, so here's my uh, GG Racer build. I have a uh, standard uh, BTX 1177 camera. He has some RCX 2206, 2250 motors, and the uh, DYS XM20 FESCs. I have, let's see, the basic. Uh, PD board in there. I'm flying with the F3 board. Flight controller. Um, cheapy uh, LED. I'm running both of the uh, BECs that were with the kit. There's a 5 volt down in there, as you see. Um, can't really see it from the sides that good, but it's uh, sandwiched in between the PD board and the flight controller. Um, above that, I have right here, you'll see the blue. It is the uh, RCX 615 uh, receiver because I'm running a JR radio, uh, the 9505, I believe. Let's see, you see the antennas coming out. I took the pins off of it, I took it out of its case. So it's out of its case. Took the pins off of it and wired it straight. Um, I put the board at 35 degrees. I don't remember if it was minus 35 or plus 35, I forget. Depends on which side you have it on. And uh, depends on if you have it on the roll or pitch axis, depending on where your USB is coming out of the front or the, the uh, back or the sides. Um, so yeah, I have the 5 volt DC in the back. I have the 12 volt up in this space up in the front here. So instead of running the 12 volt from the back to the front, I just have a power wire, power wires, running from the rear power distribution board up to the 12 volt. And the 12 volt is supplying the camera and the VTX. Just coming out the side here. The camera is hard mounted on the front. I have an extra five degrees, so I shimmed behind the uh, camera here. And I put some double sided sticky tape up here so there's no sliding around for the uh, whole front cage here. Let's see, um, the wires for the front ESCs are, you see, here's the front, they're run between the sandwich here. So I ran them between the sandwich, you can see right here. So it goes in between and out the back, up out the back right here, and down to the uh, flight control board and the uh, PD board. Um, the rear are just run straight from the rear, down the sides to the uh, board. What else do we have? Um, I wouldn't suggest running through the sandwich, the arm sandwich. It would it does look make it look a lot cleaner, but this whole cage does slide back and forth in the arm sandwich. So you'll see it. It can slide, and you can pinch your wires in a crash. So I would be careful to run it that way. I would just run it underneath. The arms because it'll make it look a lot cleaner. Um, also, you, you don't have to worry about the wires when they do come under the bottom. You don't have to worry about the wires because when it sits down, it's never touching. You see the plane here, it's never touching the ground anyway. So, uh, what else did I do on here? I mounted the VTX a little lower. As you see here, I had it on the top initially, but it sticks up quite a way so whenever you crash you're taking out your uh, antenna and I'd rather not take out the antenna um, this one's a blue beam ultra air screw and let's see so I mounted it right under the, the front here so the antenna hits there's plenty of flexibility um, what else did I do a little different the camera I did put a little lower you'll see other people might have put it up higher 
I like to lower because you crash, you're less likely to end up hitting the camera. So it's nicer lower for me. It gives me more perspective where the quad is too when you're flying. Um, the strap, I didn't use the included straps. I used the space one. It made it work better for the battery. You stick the battery in. I butt it up to the front bars here and the center of gravity is perfect. I use the uh, GG1400, so I butt it all, bring it all the way up, butt it to the front, I pull it tight, and then just bring it up and over. And at whatever size battery you have, it'll hold it nice and tight. Um, because it wasn't working for me, that GG battery is shorter than the other batteries, so I couldn't come up and over the back um, like what's rec recommended. It wasn't working for me. So I put this strap in between the cage and the uh, blocks that were provided. And the strap doesn't move. It stays nice and tight. And it works perfect. A um, little, uh, B, uh, little uh, piezo tweeter for the low voltage alarm. Um, other than that, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, the build took a little longer than most other builds because you do have to figure out where you're running wire. It is a different build. So for a first build, it's going to be a little tough on people. It's not as easy as a QAV or any other uh, similar type of setup. As you see, there's a little more uh, required, a little more thought for where you're running the wire. Um, I use the regular battery pads. This thing has taken some crashes, a lot of some hard crashes. My last uh, crash over the weekend broke the top plate. Not a big deal. I ended up just securing it under here. I have plenty of uh, carbon fiber, so that was no big deal. I ended up uh, just gluing it, carbon fiber. Broke a cup, um, broke the screw here on the arm. Not that big of a deal. It was sheared. But I, I mean, I, this thing hit so hard on pavement, I'm surprised this whole thing held up. Um, the battery had a little mark in it from flying out, of course. My Mobius was messed up, didn't get hit, it just stopped working. Um, the mount for the VTX snapped, so the VTX antenna went flying. Um, other than that, there wasn't a whole lot of damage. I mean, I. Um, broke each one of these plastic screws. There was one screw left holding the flight controller and PD board. That happens. I've had that happen in all my quads anyway, in, cr in crashes. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, so I was just sticking the Mobius right on the top right here. And I'll stick another little uh, piece of Velcro right over the top to hold the Mobius down and angle the Mobius, you know, depending on where I'm flying, the angle, how fast I'm going. So I'll just put something under the Mobius, angle it up a little more, and uh, Velcro it down. Um, this thing has been the best flyer I have so far. It yaws like no other. It takes corners so nice and tight, you don't feel the resistance that you feel as others. I mean, straightforward flying just feels way smoother. Rolls are just crisp. Um, yeah, so... I really like this guy a lot, and it has taken a beating, a huge beating. I crash it left and right, and then just take back off. If you guys have any more questions or uh, you need something answered, I'm sure somebody on the uh, on RC groups can give you a hand. I just wanted to give you a quick little tutorial of how I ran mine. This should help some others. People have questions about wiring and whatnot. So this was the cleanest I could make this guy. Uh, the wiring, actually thinking it out, took me longer than building the damn thing. So, anyway, I uh, hope you liked the uh, little video. You guys take care.